Protests, riots, rebellion. These are the scenes that police forces across the country have seen over the last year. But who are they accountable for? The new role of Hampshire Police Commissioner will see one person held accountable to the Chief Constable and to ensure the maintenance of the police force. For one Conservative MP, the new role will be tough. The relationship is going to be undoubtedly a slightly tricky one to begin with. Police, uh, the people who are in charge of the police force locally, are not used to having a member of the public directly questioning what they're doing all the time. The new Commissioner will be paid £85,000 a year with the responsibility to ensure the efficiency of the Hampshire Police Force. The Conservatives have had over 20 nominations for the role, but for one candidate, the emphasis of their campaign is the general public. I don't think you need to approach this like a bull in a china shop. You have to recognise that Hampshire Police Force is a very successful force. It's in the top half dozen in the country. So let's not go in and ruin anything. But at the same time, the changing aspirations of the public need changing policies by the police. For another candidate, the campaign is not a popularity contest. I, I honestly don't know, and, it, and it's always something that worries a politician to be viewed as a favourite, because favourites have a nasty habit of falling over at the first fence, if we're talking about a racing analogy. The selection process for the Conservative candidate continues. The spotlight now falls on Labour and the Liberal Democrats on who will contest the Hampshire Police Commissioner elections this November. Lewis O'Brien, Winchester News Online.